So I'm going to show a quick uh, process on how to get your data dictionary from a GPS Pathfinder to the unit. Um, so with some changes with Windows 10, it's a little bit more difficult to use the cord sometimes. The device doesn't always like to sync up. So we're gonna just use a SD card to make the process a little bit simpler. Um, my computer actually only takes a micro SD, so I am currently using a micro SD with a little adapter, um, and there will be a, a card included. If you need a micro SD, just let me know. We should, we should have some extra around. So, um, so I've already gone through the process of creating a data dictionary um, and saving it onto the card. You can go ahead and look through the documentation to review the steps if you need to. Um, and I'm gonna just show you how to load this in. So we want to put the SD card into the port, which is right here on the side. You can open up the side like that. And then we'll just put the card in. Make sure it snaps. And before you take it out, um, you wanna make sure that this is covered up. We don't want any sand or anything getting into the port. Um, it's really, really hard to clean that out. So make sure that's always covered. And what we're gonna do next is we are going to open TerraSync. So here's TerraSync right here. You can use the pen or you can use your finger on the screen. Um, it's a little bit more responsive with the pen, so I tend to use that more. Um, so here's kind of our starting screen. I'm gonna go to click on this menu up here and then do data. Now this is what, what our options are for loading the data dictionary in. So um, we can leave this location as default. It's gonna save it to the unit, so that's okay. Um, let's give it a file name. We'll call it just trees 2020. The keyboard's pretty small and kind of hard to type in, so I definitely use the pen for that part. Um, so for the dictionary name, if you click on this drop down, there's a whole bunch of dictionaries that are already saved on here. So the ones we want are the only ones that are stored on the storage card. So here's our natural lands one that we made. We'll click on that and then hit create. And that's, that's okay for the antenna information. Now at this point, um, we can tell that it loaded correctly because there is our tree point that we added. Um, if it did not work correctly, uh, sometimes it will give you a message that it says it can't create the file. Um, usually this means it's just having trouble syncing. So if you look at the top right here, if the time is off or the date is off, um, all you need to do is take the unit outside for a couple minutes. You don't even need the antenna. It just needs to sync up a little bit. And after about five minutes or so, it should catch back up and then try it again. Um, but we know it worked because here's our tree. So we can click on that and we could put in our tree information. Here's our little drop down with our different tree colors here and then the date that we collected the point. Um, right now, the log button that we would need to enter it is grayed out and that's just because we're indoors so it's not detecting enough satellites to be able to create the point. But if you're outside with everything hooked up, this log button should light up and you can go ahead and click that. So that's a quick walkthrough on how to use the data dictionary.